Hi guys, I'm Ritwik Bhattacharya and I teach fingerstyle guitar at Nathaniel School of Music. Uh, today's video is going to stress on developing independence between the thumb and the other three fingers of your right hand or your left hand if you're a lefty while playing a groove, while playing a rhythm. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Beatles medley yet, I'd advise you to do so because it involves a lot of... kind of stuff where you use the thumb to make a bass line for the melody and you use the other fingers to play the, the actual melody itself. Um, so what I basically do in that song is this one called Day Tripper is I split it up into and with my fingers So when you put them together, it sounds like right. Uh, this concept of uh, finger independence was also used a lot with acoustic blues uh, when you play a groove called the shuffle. And the shuffle was particularly famous with Stevie Ray Vaughan because he played a lot of. Which is basically playing the bass groove with your left hand, uh, with your thumb, and playing accents to the chords with the other two fingers. So when you can put those two together, it results in the development of your right hand muscle. It get, helps you get a lot more independence with your fingers. So there's an exercise which you can use for your left hand, uh, particularly, uh, which is simply playing say a C major shape in octaves with till up till the fifth note and back so you can go with your thumb and with your other fingers you can go and when you put them together in octaves Now, something you could do to even develop on top of that is play, is start at different parts of the scale. For instance, if you start the upper octave from the second note of the lower octave, it will sound something like this. You could also try the reverse, where the upper octave starts first and the lower octave joins in one note later, which would sound like this. The key to these exercises is to not think too much about it, because if you do think too much about it, you'll eventually end up messing it up. And as long as you can make sure that your brain isn't too occupied with deciding which note to play next, you develop that independence in your hand itself, a muscle memory develops. And that, I think, is the fastest way to develop independence between your thumb and the other fingers of your plucking hand. So if you develop these techniques over time, you can apply it to a wide range of music. Uh, classical music has a very wide use of this, a very common use of this, where you can play something like... application of this in non-classical music, you can check out my video on the Beatles medley, uh, my performance video, or you can check out artists like Tommy Emmanuel or Chet Atkins who do this all the time. You know, they apply it in each and every song they play because they play solo guitar and they play the rhythm and the melody lines all on their own at once. So practice hard 
and hopefully you'll be able to develop independence between the fingers of your left and right hand soon. I've been Ritvik Bhattacharya and I hope I see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.